Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Fabular, Once Upon a Space Time. It is, it's a roguelike, which, pretty bread and butter for me. That's a real weird one, it's... You are flying around in effectively like a space mech suit. But with melee weapons instead of ranged weapons. I thought this was going to be a twin stick shooter, but it's actually got much more of a strong melee component. The ranged weapons are much more like an occasional thing, but you're you're doing perfect blocks and perfect strikes, heavy strikes, quick attacks, and you have some special combo moves. It's really weird, and it's really interesting, and it's all wrapped up in kind of like an FTL-style galaxy where you're progressing through it, get to the end, fight the boss, rinse, repeat. I guess it's a little bit past FTL, but I can't think of anything immediately better uh, to describe it, but it's super cool, and it's got a really heavy story component, which most roguelikes don't, and so I kind of appreciate that. There's a lot more dialogue and, and talking to characters. Uh, admittedly, it's just small things, and if you choose the right stuff, you get cool rewards, but still, it's cool. Uh, so a couple of things before we go. I want to specifically mention that the developers have sponsored this video. Uh, I saw it as part of the scene Summer Games Festival, and I was like, oh, this looks neat. I, I should give it a go, and I think within 30 minutes I had an email from them being like, hey, we want to sponsor you to do a video on this, so uh, I guess here we are. And uh, the other two things to mention, three things, uh, is the demo is still available if you do want to play the demo yourselves, and uh, they also have a Discord if you guys want to get involved in the development of this. There's a link on the main screen, but I'll have a link in the description below. And if what you see looks cool to you, please hit the wishlist button as it helps the developers immensely. Uh, not only, you know, telling them that people want their game, but also telling Steam that people want this game. That's interesting, I was not expecting a Space Lizard Knight. Good morning, Young Majesty, you're quite early today, itching to get your daily dose of training. Father may call on me at any time. You know I want to be ready. Oh, every lizard under every rock in the kingdom knows how much you want to go after the Void Lord's young one. But your father has his reasons for not letting you go. This old gecko here, for example, would like nothing more than to go himself. But his king ordered him to stay put and guard the castle while keeping an eye out for the last remaining heir on the to the throne. Speaking of whom, are you ready for today's lesson? Uh, let's see. So I could... I don't know. Do you still believe I should not go? Do you not believe in me, master? On the contrary, my prince. You're more resilient than an oak, and your mind soars quicker than an eagle. I have no reason to doubt your talent, but half the kingdom is gone now. Many brave souls ventured forth, yet none of them has returned, not even your big brothers. Are you sure it's the wisest choice for you to leave on such a perilous quest right now? You are the future of our kingdom, after all. Love his name, Sir Lombardo. If I don't go to the, uh, if I don't go, the kingdom might not have a future at all. It's the only choice, and my father knows it. All right, let's get to it. What's on the agenda? Well, you've been practicing seven days a week for the last seven weeks, but you're not likely to get any sharper than this. But as the saying goes, repetition breeds expertise. So, how about we go through the basics again? Before you ask, yes, we can spot the end if you do well during the exercise. Ha! Very well then. This time I'll beat you, Lombardo. Let's head to the training grounds. All right, ooh. Here we go, young majesty. Warm up your engines and test your flight controls. Oh, wait. I've got swords. Do I have guns? No. Flight controls nominal. Let's test your weapon systems. Okay, so I, I can charge my... I did not realize that I'm effectively a flying mech suit with like a pair of swords in each hand. So far so good, young one. Let's deal some heavier blows na this time. They're higher level. Nope, doesn't look like it. Well done, little majesty. Now show me how to land a perfect strike. Okay, so it's kind of QTE-ish. So it's when it's actually flashing. Got it. 
Nicely done. Now, you want to use that blaster gadget? Fill up your energy reserves first. Ow. Okay. There's some. Poke. Let's grab a little bit more. We got another? Yeah, there you are. I was not expecting this to be heavy on the melee side of things. I I was expecting this is going to be closer to, like, uh, Sunless Skies. Okay, so now we have a ranged attack. I mean, it's good. It does a buttload of damage. It targets with quick, heavy, and perfect ranged attacks. Oh, I can even charge that. Got it. So, I'm glad that you can charge every attack. That's very Mega Man. Okay. Oh, just hit him with a heavy ranged attack as opposed to a per as opposed to a perfect one. Got it. Nope, and we're done. Young Majesty, I'm afraid our sparring session has to be postponed. I've just received a call from the royal palace that your kingly father wishes to speak with you personally. Could it be that call I've been hoping for? Well, there's only one way to find out. Please gather your equipment and your thoughts as well, if I may suggest, and return to the palace immediately. I'll go at once. Thank you for today's tutorial, Sir Lombardo. See you back at the throne room. I think he's got, like, weird pants on, and then it, those are his feet. People are asking if that was his socks. That could be his flesh. But I, I think he's got, like, a, a jumpsuit on underneath his armor. Yeah, are we a lizard boy? I think we might be a lizard boy. Or not. Lord Chamberlain. I bid you welcome, your royal highness, on the threshold of, advent of the adventure of your life. So he changed his mind as at last. How do I look? Too young for comfort, child. I'm not a child, your grace. Not anymore. Your childhood is yet to have end efficiently, uh, officially. Enjoy it while it lasts, and let this old man find solace in the false conviction you never grew up in the first place. You're funny. How come you never get credit for it? Smart and elegant as the royal heir should be, I can see why his majesty is so fond of you. Avoiding someone for years is a peculiar way to show affection. Now you're being naughty. His majesty went to hell and back to keep you out of harm's way, if you say so. How's my father, your grace? He is king. The realm suffers, and the only thing he can do about it is... It is the one thing he mo wants most to avoid. How well would you be in his place? He spends too much time in the flow for a man his age. He would not even write... He would not even write it properly. He just lies ba back in and lets it take him along. He says he needs a vision, a miracle of sorts, but the flow is not what it used to be. Takes his strength and gives him nothing but troubled dreams, which are the least of our problems right now. So the situation is deteriorating? Indeed. In absence of the Elder Heart, the flow went from abundant to waning, and so did sorcery. Less sorcery y led to meager yields, over-fertilizing, spoiled water tables, and environmental disasters all over the realm. Planetary biomes are decaying, populaces are starving, and once the flow loses all momentum, the stars will start dying too. We need to recover the Elder Heart to get things right and suitable candidates. Uh, oh, to get things right and suitable candidates are somewhat sparse. So, this is messing with my dyslexia crazy hard. This is where I come in at last. All right, so my father's out of options and must let me go. Certainly seems so. His Majesty wishes to fill you in on the details personally. Ah, you may approach the throne now. Thank you, Lord Chamberlain. But what about the Jester? Well, sup, Dad? There you are. Come closer so I can see you. I feel like this guy is just straight up inspired by the Emperor of Mankind. Could be wrong. Will you finally approve my plan to go after the Void Lord's father? Aye, but I am no fool, and have no intention to let you roam in deep space, unsupervised. What do you mean? You will have a companion, an old family acquaintance, someone with the knowledge to guide. 
and the wish to entertain, and the loyalty to accept your command in spite of your age. He will be the soul of your vessel and your savior from imminent doom if, I, if need be. Do I know him? You considered him your best friend back in the day when your mother joined the flow. He was instructed not to talk to you, so it was just make-believe, but it made him tremendously proud all the same. Whitman? I need another voice. I'm running out of voices. At your service, young majesty, or should I address you as royal highness now? Ha! <laughs> you, I still remember your nay, the way you scared away my tears with it. It chimes that lulled me to sleep. I remember everything. I was happy to be of service, young one, in that difficult time. You surely did your part, and I'm grateful for it. And what can I do for you today, young one? We used to play with you a lot, but we never traveled together. Father told me that you'll be the soul of my ship. What's that supposed to mean? When inserted into the octagonal port of the command panel, I become one with the vessel. I control all of her systems and give you feedback on her status. You may access navigation and combat functions through me using real-time voice commands. I will be your eyes and ears, your faithful fabricant guide in the vast coldness of space. I will be as diligent and attentive as a disciple as an officer in command can be. You're the embodiment of all power and knowledge of my bloodline. I mean, it means I'm king now? Nay, you're given an epic task which highlights your father's epic trust in you. You are his heir apparent now. You bear his crest and represent his authority at, to the cosmos at large. Do it right, save the realm, and prove yourself befit for the crown. I expect nothing less from you. Well, then I better grow up and get to it. I'm not blind to the signs. We're running out of time. All right, don't have time to waste. Let's go. The king will have a warship assigned to us from the Royal Reserve. There are three classes to choose from. Paladin, powerful but sluggish. Salamander draws strength from the arcane. With a manticore is swift and stealthy. Pick the one that best suits you best. And be thorough about it. For your vessel will be your mount, armor, and armament in the battles awaiting. On to the ship selection then. Stars above, my heart is racing. This is going to be the most important date of my life. Alright, so Paladin's got a pair of axes. And we don't have the other two. So, I guess we're going with this one. There's a hefty meta progression system in this game, so we'll see how this goes. Can I change anything else about this? Nope. Oh, because I've got the wrong thing selected. Ah, because I can't go back. That's why. Well. Okay, so we got a couple of things. We've got an upgrade system. Looks like I don't know if I can do much with that. There's also equip... Take a look at your ship, Young Majesty. So I got a grappling hook. Let's see, drops energy orbs on successful hits. Space, guard mode, reduce thrust damage, physical damage resistance 100%. Oh, thrust, it reduces my speed. Gain a defense bonus, but you suffer a movement penalty. And then there's also a perfect block. Interesting. There's also cargo hold stuff and some other things. Uh, star map? And yeah, got it. Cool. We're just going to go here. I'm just going to try and figure everything out as we go along. Empty but quiet place. Oh, this is an empty and quiet place, young little majesty. Not a sound. Not a blip on my senses. Let's rest for a bit and then journey on. Well, the emptiness of space may be unnerving. For a weary unit like me, it can be a blessing in disguise. Are you talking to me now? Concentrating on the void clears my circuit, so I can route all processes to my inner core. I'm not sure I follow. I can feel the ohms resonate as bad services are terminated one by one. White main. Oh, excuse me, young majesty. I was just meditating. Sometimes it helps stop processing, helps to stop processing data, and just exist. You know, I can already feel that I can route more route power much more efficiently in my circuitry. Ready when you are. Glad you're feeling better. Let's go. Uh, max energy, plus one for three battles. Halt! Your money or your life! Have at these scoundrels. Huh. This is weird? This is a weird game. It's... Steam Space Punk. Alright. So I'm gonna just charge a heavy. Oh, I can bonk them into each other. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, they don't seem to like... Ooh, gosh. Okay, I took damage from something there. Oh, I was really hoping... Unfortunately, I don't think I got a gun. I wonder. Nope, wasn't worth it. I was really hoping I could drag him into an asteroid. And there's a slight momentum system here, too, that I have to obey. Right, is that it? Are we done? I think we're good. Definitely took some damage from that one. All right, so we get some Stardust, which is cash. Servo mat, repair your current armor for 25 point, points of damage. Let's see, can I just use that? There we go. Another grappling hook, battle brew. Okay, looks like we gotta get some upgrades. So we could get tokens, another grappling hook. I can only take one. I'm going to go with that. Do I have any upgrades that I can grab? Okay, I do actually have money. So, I uh, get an energy orb on a perfect block. Chance to, for an enemy orb to, energy orb to drop when you destroy an enemy's armor with a melee attack. Uh, so, I can actually get quite a lot of these. Oh, I see. So, extra capacity. Extra armor... Armor hit points, ship mass, and a cargo slot. That's probably worth at least one. Max speed, thrust, and melee attack speed. Interesting. So can I get some of these? Energy damage resistance. Reduces the penalties. I'm just going to go all in on that one. Go for a bunch of cargo space first so that we can carry more stuff and see if I can sell more. Let's see. They have requirements at the top. Ah, four power, one cap. Got it. Well, that's cool. I like this. This is weird. It's, it's an odd game. But that means it's unique. I like the illustrations. I like the art style. The combat, I feel like, might be the weakest part currently, but I think maybe that really depends on if I start getting some cool loot or not. Uh, so we'll see We'll see how that goes. Little Majesty, my scans of this sector are showing what can only be described as a battleground. The battle was fought some time ago. All that's left is a graveyard. Wait, I'm picking up a kingdom transponder. It's one of our knights. What? Scan for it. We must find the ship. Ship located. Stalwart under dawn. Repair, uh, damage beyond repair. Scans indicate that surrounding debris, Deborah's, originates from at least 50 other ships. Seems we found the site of a heroic last stand. Who's the knight? Sir Gregor. I remember him. He was a good man and an honorable knight. Uh, let's see. Do a detailed scan. See if there's anything left we can use. There's nothing left but echoes of the past. We should probably move on, sire. Very well, but we should at least record the location for posterity. And then we can go places. Now, I do have a limited amount of energy here. Let's see. Upgrades, mention perfect blocks. Tutorial didn't cover it. Yeah, it's just uh, pressing spacebar at the exact right time. I gotta work on that. We'll see how it goes. Marauders, closing in fast, your majesty. They don't respond to my hails. They don't look friendly at all. Perhaps it would be best to activate battle functions as fast as possible. And yes, the horse head absolutely is talking to us. All right, you. As it's just one dude this time. Looks like it. Is that it? No. We've got more. Okay. I was really hoping I could use the grappling hook to, like, fling people into asteroids. I... Well... The devs had asked for feedback, and I think that's... I think that's actually going to be one of my biggest pieces of feedback. Oh, please bonk. Oh, damn it.
They're way too good at avoiding those. But I really want to be able to uh, sling rocks into enemies and sling enemies at rocks. Wait, did I take damage? No. Uh, I just, I want to use physics objects to destroy my enemies because I think that would be the raddest shit. Yeah, can you grapple hook an asteroid? Yes. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. All right, let's use that. Heal up. Grab some money. Blind fire, fire missile. And replenishing engine brew. Which refills my energy slots. Oh, that's those. Okay. Let's go back to upgrades. Take a look at this. Ah, uh, some of these aren't available yet. Ooh. That's good stuff. How much money? I don't have enough. It's additional armor slot, energy slot. Probably look at these a little, see which ones are worthwhile. Put a little bit into that. I don't know how much I want that cooldown. And how much I want to just sink points into, I think, both of these. Okay, let's go back to loot for a second. Let's go back to equip. There. Now I got a missile. I don't know if the uh, blind fire missile is going to be great. Cost two energy, but I'm not using the energy for my grappling hook that much. How is this game? Weird. Oh, looks like there's a boss over there. I'm going to go this way, probably run out of energy. So maybe this doesn't have, have as big of a meta progression as I thought. Welcome, traveler. My wares of the highest quality. You won't find better elsewhere. All made with the power of alchemy. Miracles will happen right in front of you. Should your eye... Uh, uh, right in front of your eyes, should you buy from me. What do you say, young majesty? Show me your wares. Let me sell some junk. Okay. Sell that. Sell the battle group. Maybe sell that. What else do we got? So, should probably save some of my gibs to actually grab some of these things, because it seems like a lot of this stuff is actually quite useful. Mainly, I need Sunblast. I don't have enough. Uh, let's uh, sell that. Buy another Sunblast. Oh, good. They gave me three. Yeah, we needed we needed fuel. But yeah, it's it's super weird. In just in terms of like base design, I don't have the best means of describing how this matches up with like a lot of other games. Mainly just because it kind of does things differently. I guess the closest I would compare it to is like FTL combined with man something else. I think I got him with a missile. Either that or he blew himself up. Ooh. Okay, all of this extra thrust is rad. And a little spooky. See, where did he die? He died down here. Shoot. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do... Oh, they can't friendly fire each other. I was really wishing they I could. Ow. Okay, got a cooldown on that one. I'm dying a little too fast. Dang it. Oh! I see. So they actually destroyed... Armor slots are health bars for me. Okay. 
I'm learning. Power surged. Energy has expired. Well, that's a bit of a pain. Uh, let's see. Let me see if any of these are actually immediately or amazingly useful. A lot of them are small perks that would be helpful. But I'm not hurting for them. I should probably start saving some of my money. What is this? Not much of note here, young majesty, though there's a small hut. Investigate. Hello, what brings you to my corner of the cosmos? Quest of great importance. We aim to save the kingdom. Ah, if there was a way I could help you, I would, but I'm afraid I live alone here and I don't have much. Appreciate the thought all the same. Farewell. Uh-oh. This is gonna go bad. Can I not go back? Uh-oh. That's bad. So we ended up in a weird dead end and I'm gonna just be burning my health to get here. Oh, I don't like that. I wish more of these nodes connected to each other. Trouble afoot, little majesty. Sensors have detected several armed vessels converging on our flight path. A party of local marauders. Probably scouting for the enemy. They're hailing us now. Alright, let's talk to them. What every year? A traveler who failed to pay his tribute when entering our territory. Do it now or prepare to face our wrath. So be it. Come and earn your prize the hard way, lawless bastards. Well, when the developers told me that I'd probably die a lot. They weren't wrong. Ow. That guy just spawned like right up in there. Those perfect strikes are great if I can actually trigger them. Oh, and I don't even have the extra energy slots. Ooh, that's dirty. Fine. I think we're good. Yeah, the freaking missile, using that to take out the uh, the enemies at range, really helpful. Hey, there's some fuel. I was really hoping for some HP, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Harder battles, better loot, alert level increased. Got it. Good day to you, traveler. Want to prepare for the future? Then I might have a lucrative business proposal for you. I'll buy your items for a low price and keep hold of them. When we meet again in the future, you can buy them back, albeit at a more reasonable price. My vaults are open to you. Let me know if we can be of service. So... Oh, you retain tokens between journeys. Well, considering I'm on death's door, let's buy some tokens and see what they do. So that might be the meta meta progression system of a sort. Another another relatively empty sector, Young Majesty, though there's a small hut nearby. Check it out. Eh! Who in the starry sky are you to barge into my home? Be off with you! Uh, I'm the prince. I thought I'd check in on the inhabitants of this hut. Hut? Hut, you say? Well, this hut just happens to be my home, and I like very much like it. So off with you, you lubberwort. Lubberwort? I'll heed no such insults from such a ragabrash mumble crust. Ragabrash mumble? Ha! Brilliant and excellent retort. It's been a long time since anyone has thrown such a marvelous insult in my direction. Usually they settle for such insults such as idiot or buffoon. Such imagination deserves a reward. Please take what you wish from that pile by the door and then be off with you. Thanks, I think. All right, we get the hell of a lot of things. Range damage bonus and hella stuff. Loot the man. Done. Well, off we go. I got, I've got fuel. Rotters closing in, little one. They don't have respond to my hails, and they don't look friendly at all. Perhaps it would be best to activate battle functions as fast as possible. I like the writing for this. Oh, wow. This is a visually completely different from what I was expecting.
Okay. We're good. I'm going to hang out here until we see a ranged guy. I could try and fire a dumb missile. I was hoping they'd come for me. No. Looks like I gotta go to them. Oh, there's two. Goodens. Broader plasma buoy. Well, that gets rid of one. Oh, there we go. Problem solved. Oh, we're not done yet. They did say harder fights. I wonder if they'll have, like, a bunch of different weapons in this. I kind of hope so. Get up in here. Got him. Unfortunately, I only get energy from killing enemies with melee. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oh. Okay, got one. Now I gotta get up in here and murder these guys. Yep. Poke him one. Uh, I really wish killing an enemy with a ranged attack would get me at least one energy back. Probably should have just killed him regularly and tried to save my energy, but that's okay. I think we did that without taking a single point of damage, so that's good. Oh, I want that charge, though. Let's see if we get it. All right. Repair up. We got a thumper. Push back all enemies. That's okay. And we got some tokens. I think the idea of the thumper would be nice, but I don't know. Let's go this way. Little Majesty, we are being hailed. The signal seems to be coming from a mansion. Home of a minor noble, by the looks of it. Should I respond? Answer it. With any luck, there may be they may be sympathetic to our cause. I bid you good day, young Majesty. I'm Baron Brayton. I've been a loyal servant to your kingly father for many years. I have been informed of your quest and wish to help in any way I can. How best can I serve? Fuel. Of course. I shall have my stewards and servitors with a fuel shipment at once. Your kindness is appreciated. Goodbye. And we get some fuel. I'm about to go fight a boss, so this is probably going to go badly for me. Nope, I'm not, actually. I have to go the other way. Well, we go around. Welcome, young traveler, to my humble establishment. I'll gladly fit your royal vessel with anything you de deem useful. Would you like to see my wares? All right. Fully restores one of your lost armors. Ooh, that'd be worth it. Uh... Let's sell the thumper. I might honestly sell that as well. Uh, let's see. So what else we got? So we've got a throwing axe. Which is amazing. Throws both axes forward, damaging all enemies hit. That's a ranged attack that does not cost en energy. Twin homing missile seems pretty dang good. Problem is keeping the energy there. Uh, let's see. Claymore. Does a ton of damage. So let's probably go for the throwing axes. Do I want to go for the throwing axes and the extra health? Let's see. And I could do the armor plating. If I sold this, I could I could get both. Or we could not. 
make do with what I have and go for the range damage bonus. I just don't know if the thrown axe counts as a ranged. Yeah, let's sell this. Let's go for the survivability for now. Because I'm going to be fighting a boss shortly. Oops. So the battle brew. Okay, we're good. Let's go with the axes instead of the, th the basic broadsword. Let's see. Can I do the throwing axe over the grappling hook? No, I can't. There's a sizable mansion showing up in the visual scanners, Young Majesty. It appears to be abandoned. It's covered in overgrowth, and the building itself has clearly not been maintained. I'm picking up a small power signature. However, it is possible the previous occupants vacated in a hurry and left something of use behind. We should investigate. No stone left unturned. I'm moving us uh, in closer. The axes are way slower. It'll be worth it. Power signature is surging. It appears several smaller devices are coming online. I believe we have triggered some sort of automated defenses. It won't change us, chase us, but will likely come under fire if we try and get closer. Defenses? They must be protecting something valuable. Shouldn't prove too hard to disable them. Hey, combat. Alright, taxes. Okay, so I also have to catch them. Okay. That's a little less good than I thought it was going to be. I was really hoping the ranged attack would actually do a shit ton of damage. Still does a lot of damage, though. But it means the ranged attack is more for harrying things or fighting other gubbins. That was not worth it. Yeah, it does a ton of damage. All right, what else we got around here? Okay, it did it did actually do damage to the other one. Whoops. Shoot. Yeah, I think the axes are still worth it, just the ranged attack was a little bit of a letdown. It's probably worth it if I want to be safe. Could have been a little bit better there. A little bit higher damage. But then again, it's like, that's 8 damage for, for like a ranged attack. It's just kind of slow compared to my regular melee hits. What I should probably do is just... Weaken them down and then go in for a big hit. Yeah, that's probably better. See, this game looks familiar if you played it before. Never! This is actually a uh, new game. It's not even out yet. The developers were kind enough to ask me to play it as a uh, sponsored sponsored stream. Though I would, like I said, probably would have played this no matter what. All right, let's get up in here. Give him the old two axe hug of death. Anything else? Or we're done. We're done. Yeah. Let's just not run into any of these little planetoid houses. So we get money, fuel. Bonus range damage. Let's equip. So there's the grappling hook. I don't actually know if that's going to help me in the slightest, but I'll have it. Oh, I don't have a choice. We have to go back. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, let's, let's sell the broadsword. 
I'm at 23. We could buy one of these, heal up. That's worth it. I don't know if we want anything else. We're doing okay on fuel. Yeah, I'll just I'll just leave. I do really wish you could actually preemptively see the star path or something. Like, I hate to say the Slay the Spire progression path, but I think that actually would help this game. Instead of having a fuel system even, maybe? I don't know. I, It's one of those where it's like, I like the idea of being able to go through all these star lanes. There we go. Just give him the old bonk. Yeah, that, that damage is so worth it. I'm actually really curious if I can just kill one of these guys. Uh, let's head on the other side for a second. If we can. Ooh. That asteroid was ready for him. If I only have to come in for, like, two hits on these guys, that's not bad in the slightest. Axe is probably counts as ranged. Yeah, but a 20%... 20% of two is nothing. What the hell are you? That's a beam buoy. Uh... Okay. Ow! Freaking... Yeah, let's just go with that as the alternative. Those things are dangerous. Okay. We don't want to do the ranged attack, because I can pretty much just give this guy. Just by being patient. Yeah, I definitely would say those those beam things for how dangerous they are needs a better tell for it charging up. Uh at least switching there. Maybe it's less of a problem. I'm gonna call this game Starship Bullying Simulator. Is straight up what I am doing. I'm doing much better that now. The the heavier armaments and the increased knowledge of how this game works. Oh gosh. It won't let me turn around. Oh, that's bad. Okay, got them both. Ow, there goes my armor. I tried real hard. Didn't work. Maybe I should try a missile. Yeah, getting grappled in the butt is spooky. Uh, let's see. Let's grab these. Shock Thumper. Some of these are kind of good. I don't know. I should really mess with the, uh, perfect guard a little bit more. Okay. This is gonna be a little closer. We've entered a large debris field. Seems to be made of material of hundreds of ships. That's a lot of ships. What happened here? It's impossible to say, but the region has been beset by conflict for centuries. These are likely the remains of many battles fought over many years. We could try to scavenge some resources from the remains, but the debris is densely packed. It'll be difficult to maneuver through it unscathed. 
Try and find something of use. Anything move we find will be helpful. Good flying. Not every pilot can steer so well through an obstacle course like that. Reading a piece of equipment under the sensors. Should be something useful. I'll do a flyby. Let's bring it on board. Alright, so we got bumper. Okay. Yeah, I don't have much fuel. And this is about to get way worse. Let's see how a boss goes. We're knee-deep in Marauder territory, little one. In this corner of the cosmos is known as the war zone between the biggest clans, but surprisingly, these forces seem to be relatively united. If these savages are even capable of such a thing. If we are looking to encounter their war chief, this is probably the way to go. But be careful, Marauders are not known for the willingness to negotiate. Are you sure you're up to the task ahead? Marauder clans usually fight between each other. How come they're united now? Separate Marauder clans are usually sworn enemies and go to war with each other for territory on a daily basis. The fact that they are united now is very surprising and bad news for the kingdom. There's no doubt that the Void Lords have a hand in this. I guess the feeble mind is easy to persuade if you bend your words the right way. We have never faced a more immediate threat before, young one. A giant snake is circling us and will only stop if you cut off its ugly, hissing head. There's no two ways about it. Alright, let's do it. Um, I smell royal blood, boys. He's here, just as the Black Lord foretold us. Stop your rummaging and execute the plan. I bet that fancy ship's got plenty of booty to plunder and hold. So, come closer, brat, and let me grind you into a thousand pieces. No discourses on the agenda, I reckon. Very well, let's get to it. Alright, boss. I got a missile with your face on it. Your name? Face? Your face? Oh, boy. That's a little bit of a prabble. I mucked him up pretty bad with that missile, though. I don't know if I'm going to get more than that. Does he have little secret drones? Uh-oh. Okay, this is actually exactly the circumstance that I wanted to get my throwing axes for. Ow. As long as I don't screw myself over. Because we can effectively flee and kite before this guy. It's not going to do a whole lot, but we can take out his frontal... We can take out his his frontal, like, grinder thing pretty easily. I'm gonna try and let him get in close and mess that up. Worth it. Ki kinda. Oh. So that just straight up has shields. Well, we got a couple of options here. It seems like my best option is to take the extremely slow, the extremely boring, and the extremely uh, risky maneuver of just letting this guy kill himself. I do kind of wish his little drones would actually give me energy back. Because I like the idea of his little drones, but I, I feel like that should almost be... Ow. Ugh, freaking camera angles. Nope. This went bad. Okay. Yeah, so that just keeps fleeing for me. Yeah, unfortunately, the camera zooms out so it shows me and the boss, but it means that uh, I'm just... I'm not going to know if I'm going to run into an asteroid or not. 
Which is a bit of a... That's a... That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, they should definitely give some energy after a certain point. I got him down to half down one of his energy... Energy... Got him down an energy plating. Or energy armor plating. Debatably useful. Oh boy. Yep. Oh! Gosh! Everything about everything right now is bad. I love these axes. I think they <laughs> Oh, why do they take significantly less damage? Uh, from running into an asteroid compared to me? I'm not- I'm not cool with that. Well, it's fine. Let's go back to the throne room. Let's see if we get anything cool out of this. Made to know and be savory, I alone can tell the story. How our realm grew and thrived into the halo of the Elder Heart. It made skies bright and made homes cozy. Even the cosmos felt warm and fuzzy. Till our luck have turned, until the Black Ones returned. All were knights without par. They went to war, they traveled far, to kill the serpent of the core, to end its reign forevermore. They fought brave and unreserved, gave the dragon what it deserved, a victory but not quite success. They lost their souls in the process. Born human, but knights no longer, all they felt was feral hunger, raided their home and took its heart, and that's how the realm fell apart. Play something more upbeat, will you? Your... Yours are, my liege, our praises and prayers. Interesting. So he's got a bunch of different songs. We're play tutorial, tutorial, listen to, aha, redeem tokens. So start each journey with armor slots. Uh, so I have 15 tokens, more energy slots. Armor gets repaired by a small amount every time you travel to an unexplored node on the map. Start with a beacon of mat in your cargo hold and a thumper in your cargo hold. So here's our meta progression. So. The more points of Vigorous I get, the more just overall HP I have. Let's put one into that. So judging by the space on this, we can get energetic like four times. Okay. Yeah, I liked the long range, but it screwed me over more than a couple of times. I think I'll stick to melee in the future and just kind of suffer through it somehow. Uh... Because I loved the idea of throwing the axes, but it didn't stunlock enemies as well, and it definitely didn't do enough damage to wreck things. Yeah, Pioneer might not be bad. I was just thinking the extra energy slots would be really helpful for firing off shots. Oh, he's got something too. So, increased effective power increase upgrade, capacity increase upgrade. So, these just give me a percentage increase on the stats as well. Ooh, okay. It's a little basic. I'd love to see the... Meta progression expanded if they're going to go this direction. It'd be neat if uh, you could change like different beginning loadout things and some other stuff. Maybe? Maybe. But I. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. Sup, Dad? <laughs> oh. I didn't even notice that the first time I encountered encountered this when I. Yeah, first time I came through here. Uh, but that is, that is so freaky that there's just a dad statue with dad in it. Oh, I like it. I like this a lot. The combat, I think I'm still going to say, is a little bit on the weaker side. I wish there were maybe slightly less asteroids and maybe more just hazards in general that you could run into. Maybe some, like, bigger planetoids. And there was a little bit more focus on actually ramming things into other things. Because if you're going to have that many asteroids, I almost kind of wish I could use them to my advantage instead. Like, give me a hammer that lets me wallop an asteroid into an enemy for, like, a buttload of damage, but it's hard to aim, maybe. Uh, or, you know, use the grappling hook to grapple onto an enemy smaller than me, spin, and then let it loose straight into an asteroid. Little little bits like that to, to really make, like, collisions fun. Because uh, as it stands, they were more of just kind of a basic impediment more than anything else. Um, yeah, what else is there? I mean, there's a lot of feedback I could give. But this is very much still in development. I'd like to see more weapon types. 
I'd like to see the other ship types, which I don't think we have, we've unlocked yet. Yeah, it doesn't say how to unlock these. That would be real nice if we could actually see, like, hey, this is how you get this, this vehicle. So there's also these things here, too. So there might be some more, too. If fling the asteroids with the grapple at enemies. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh... And yeah, maybe just a little bit more Nova Drift. A little bit more... A uh, little bit more Nova Drift, a little bit less Sunless Skies. Because Sunless Skies worked well, combat-wise, purely because it was very much a a slow meditative, meditative ex story experience. And you generally didn't lose all of your stuff. You could kind of retrieve it and some other things. And, like, grind up. Whereas this is supposed to be a roguelike that is meant to have variety over the course of a playthrough. And therefore, you want... I'm not going to say you ne necessarily need things to scale out of hand, but I like the feeling of every run being different and unique and interesting. Um, and I think you can kind of get that with some of the different weapon types, but I'd love to see more being pushed in that direction. So, like, sometimes, yeah, you get different weapons that uh, give you a bonus for, like, punching enemies around or slinging things. Or maybe... Maybe like a just like a really basic ranged weapon, so you go for more of like a, a twin stick shooter build, uh, or I don't know a bunch of different things. It'd even be interesting to have some like minion mancy bits thrown in, like you could grapple onto an enemy, hack them, and throw them back uh, at enemies. Is like you know your drone, maybe maybe not. I don't know, uh, but I like that description of more Nova Drift, less uh, scum. That uh, more Nova Drift, less on the skies. Purely because, like, this has got a really good base. I just want to see more in terms of runs. And obviously, I'll have to play some more runs and mess with the meta progression. Uh, but most of the, most of what I saw was just, like, little statistical upgrades. And I want wild changes that make, make me say, like, man, that was a crazy run. Like, I can still remember some of the Binding of Isaac runs I've done over the years. But I can't really remember a whole lot of... Uh, what's a good example? Risk of Rain. Risk of Rain had some crazy runs, but a lot of them ended up being kind of self-same because it was just the same upgrades over and over again. But maybe that's just a preferential thing and other people will get into this more than I will. Uh, but I love this art style. It's so cool looking. And I love the lore. This is kind of a neat little idea. But for now, anyway, I guess before I go, just as a reminder, if you guys thought this game looked really cool, uh, please wishlist it because it really helps the developers out. And we'll let you know when the game is out. And I will definitely do another video when it does come out as well. I might do some more in between. Because as far as I can tell, this is like a fairly substantive experience. Uh, with like a, a fair bit still to it that I haven't even seen. I want to try those other ships once we get there. And yeah, I'd love to see what would happen if I had like a silly amount of tokens, maxed all these out. And it's like, how much of a beastly machine can I become? Uh... But the other thing is, uh, if you guys do want to get involved in the development with this game, give some feedback, uh, interact with the devs, there is a Discord. I will have a link in the description below on uh, on the YouTube video, at least. Let's see. There we go. I'll just post it to Twitch chat right now if you guys do want to, uh, want to get involved. So there's that. So I guess with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And thank you to the developers for sponsoring this video. But I'll probably be back in a non-sponsored version to grind up a little bit more. See if we can get some crazy tokens. I wonder if they'll... I'll have to figure out if they're going to reset progress. Because if they if they are going to reset progress for the eventual end, like, launch version, then I think I might hack up the tokens early and play with that. Play with this as, like, a max version just to see how that would go. But for now, see you next time.